Uh, Zach, yeah. this uh, knife is it's lonely. Yeah? Yeah, I think it needs to do some unboxing. Oh, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what this video is about? <laughs> What is up, YouTube? This is Chris and Zach from Dream Media Home Theaters. We're about to do the unboxing of the SB4000. If you guys haven't seen, right behind us, we've been doing unboxings all day long. We've been doing product overviews and different things like that. This is part of our $20,000 product rollout from SVS, and we're gonna be selling all this stuff effective immediately. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you want it? Give us a call. If you're not a subscriber already, smash that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. Let's do it. All right, so SB4000. This one came out uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. It's, it, it pretty much came out in November of uh, 2016. No, not 2016, 2017. And um, it's just been an amazing performer since its, uh, since its debut. And this speaker, this, this subwoofer right here, I actually owe this subwoofer a tremendous debt because it basically jump-started my channel. All you guys wanted to see the SB4000, and I was probably one of the first people on YouTube with it, did a review for you guys, and uh, that's the rest is history. Yeah, Chris is uh, a fanatic for uh, SVS, which is why we partnered, um, and he's gonna be handling all sales for SVS. I mean, you can ask him anything, he's gonna give you legit answers, um, and help you get the and system of your dreams. First-hand experience because a lot of these products I have owned these and I've also done uh, reviews for you guys and if you haven't seen them just go ahead and check out my channel. But I have, I have owned this one. I've, I've paid for it outright and uh, I ended up just selling it. <laughs> yeah, to get so, this bit. Boy, so man. I ended up getting the, it's, it's bigger brother, the uh, PB4000 and then I upgraded past that from the PB4000 to the PB16 Ultra. You want to come to me? And then I got two. Yeah. If you want, we can go ahead and just uh, back this up a little more. I can move this one. All right. So with all this stuff, it's extremely heavy. So uh, make sure that you use proper lifting techniques because uh, you don't want to injure your back with any of this stuff. Yeah, definitely get a buddy to help you. You know, these things are not light. Yeah. So pro tip, what I would do if you guys have carpet, um, I would grab some cardboard or even leave these things on there, the little um, crates that it gets in, uh, delivered in, and just push it around. Just give it a little shove. A little shove around. And you see I'm, how easy I'm moving it on carpet. And if you ever need to move them, if you ever install the isolation system, which uh, I'm not sure if we still have them around. Yeah, sorry. So if you ever install this isolation system, you don't want to move it around after you put these things on. So pro tip, if you ever do need to move it around, put some cardboard underneath, like some flat cardboard, just find some spare cardboard that's long enough so that you don't necessarily move these things. Cause if these shear, this is rubber and it's steel, they're two different type of materials and you don't want to go ahead and ruin this thing. So pro tip. So right. with, with this one, you only need four of the actual uh, isolation systems. This is six, this is for its ported big brother. So if you want six, do the uh, ported big brother. Power cords included, you got your registration and product lineup as well as remote. And this does have an app where you can control it. Um, it's important when you guys are going to buy, you buy from an authorized reseller, if not, your product will not be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. Exact same thing if you have your cell phone or even a tablet um, and just have that handy, just press the little SVS app, you're able to control different volumes, you're able to control all kinds of different parameters, port tuning, different things like that. Since this one's sealed, you don't necessarily have to deal with port tuning, but you can also do something called DSP, which is really, really advantageous, especially uh, with something this big, because you want it to sound as best as possible in your space, and if you have some fancy software on your computer, which is free, and a calibrated mic, which you pay for, which is you know somewhere in the realm of $70 and up. You can um, do different frequency sweeps and you can actually tune this thing best with a parametric EQ installed in the actual app via readout from that software. Oh, That's I got the same grill. I got ahead of myself. I went ahead and show, showed it off before I got yeah, it out of the you box. You didn't even give it a review. Woo! She naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put her clothes back on. 
Well, 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 Gene, I think I jumped the gun there. <laughs> I seriously don't think any of you guys get that reference. If anyone does, leave a comment down below. All right, guys, here's the grill. Check it out. It's about the same as these other guys right here. Was that one metal too? Are all the SPS girls metal? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. We've unboxed so many of these today. Yeah. So uh, sturdy construction and um, very compact. I mean, I could actually stack these, but I, I wouldn't want to, you know, mess up these piano finishes. So I'm pretty sure that even if I do, you guys will rip me apart in the comments anyway. So what I'm going to do is just have them side by side, and you guys can do a size comparison that way. So this is the 4000 series, 13 and a half inch driver. 1200 watts RMS, 24, hold on, 4,000 watts peak. So since this is a sealed version, it's only 4,000 watts peak. In the ported version, you actually get a little more um, SPLs and you also get 4,000 plus watts peak. So um, if you ever need it with those crazy explosions that happen, whenever you have something that's really dynamic, you have the extra oomph to actually push you through that rather than damaging your, 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 your setup. So on the front, 13 and a half inch driver, this is one of those uh, composite type of drivers. And then you have your little front readout, like I was talking about. If you don't want to necessarily use this, you can use the SVS app. And you can have your little touch buttons here. You can uh, measure through the, you can scroll through the, the functions of the menu. And then also use it as your volume control. So really simple, really sleek design. And in between the 4000, which is pretty new. This one's older, the 16. This one's newer. And this one's the newest. So in fashion of Goldilocks, let's go ahead and set these things up. So these are all sealed and these are all in piano black and I don't think I could lift this one by myself. In uh, the spirit of Goldilocks, we have the SB4000, the SB3000 and the PB, uh, the SB16 Ultra. So you can see that the size difference isn't really that much in between them. And if, if, if I were on the fence in between these two, 800 watts RMS, 1200 watts RMS, 1500 watts RMS. You prices? Can, prices are gonna be, uh, this one starts at 999. This one is uh, 1500 and this one uh, starts at, or this one starts at 2000. So I think with this one, it doesn't matter which finish you choose, it's still the same price. This one, they charge a difference in price if you want to choose the piano black finish. And this one, they charge a difference in price if you want to do the piano black finish. So a lot of the same stuff that you have on this one. All right, so on the back, you have your plate amplifier. This is uh, 1200 watts RMS, you have your different level inputs. You have left and right. I would choose just doing LFE, it's the simplest. Um, some people on the older setups, they'd like to do kind of like a Y out. It's completely unnecessary, especially with something that's advanced. And then if you want to daisy chain them, you have a level output. Down here, you have your balanced inputs, left and right. And then you also have your balanced outputs. So if you want to daisy chain them, just like I was talking about up here, it's available for you to do that. This, uh, I haven't really mentioned this on pretty much any of them, but they do have a trigger in. So if your AVR turns on and you want this to turn on at the same time, um, you can hardwire it that way. Or what you can do is what I do at home is actually just have this on auto sensing. So whenever it senses an audio signal, it turns on. So it's really easy. Almost never, it, <laughs> there, there's probably never an instance where it doesn't turn on. Pretty much it's very, very sensitive and it's, uh, it's not configurable, but it's just, it just works. So I, I, never, I never have a problem with that one as well. But if you want to, trigger inputs, really easy. I always leave customers in auto sense and it always works. It's the easiest way to go. So as you can see, piano black, uh, high gloss finish. If you have greasy beard oil hands, uh, you're gonna get marks on them. So just make sure that you're wiping these things off or use gloves if you're gonna use them. Or get the black ash. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and found it informative. Chris is the man! You guys want to buy this? Give him a call. He's going to hook you up. If you guys like the video, <laughs> give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Until next time, this is Zach and Chris with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.